What's the deal, Chosen Vessels? It's your main man, Drew Tube. And I'm back at you with another video. When you are worried about everything, you don't have time to relax about anything. Monitoring your mood can save your life. Let's talk about it. When you're stressed and you're worried, you're not focused on your blood pressure. You're not focused on your health. You're not focused on, is how I'm feeling right now affecting my health? Is it affecting my my current state of being? And the answer is yes. Whatever you feel, your body, your organs, everything feels the same way. So when you're angry, your heart is angry. When you're hurt, when you're upset, your heart's upset. Okay? When you get mad, everything else is mad. And we go through these things. It's normal. The body is built to endure stress. But when it's uncontrolled, when it's uh, nonstop, when it's excessive, when you're worried about this and you're worried about that and you can't relax, you can't chill, you can't find peace, you can't make sure like your mental health, the state of your mental health is going to be okay, you're in danger. you got to change that. And one thing that will help you change that is just to re- is to relax and to not worry. All right, people want to get caught up and and get themselves hung up over so many things when it's not the case. You have God. <clears throat> all right, you have God. You have an infinite source that runs through you. Okay, God provides everything for every. God provides everything for everything out in nature, and the Bible tells you that you're no different. So when you worry and when you stress and when you focus on things that are out of your reach, when you focus on things that are out of your out of your hands, out of your control, you're going to worry yourself. You're going to stress yourself. OK, when you worry about things that only God can take care of, you're going to stress yourself out. And when you do that, it's going to cause more problems. It's going to cause health issues. You're not going to be able to think straight. It could cause headaches, cause migraines, okay? It could potentially send you to the hospital. You don't want that. You want to be able to take a deep breath and calm down and relax. Or if anything, you want to be able to stay peaceful. That's the common goal. You want to be able to stay peaceful. If you can't take a deep breath and relax, something's wrong. If you can't find peace, something is wrong, okay? If you're stressed out to the point where you're taking that stress with you and you're not, your mood's not changing, and things aren't looking different, and it's just a it's just a constant wave of stress. Like this is stressing you out, stressing you out. That's stressing you out. Everything is stressing you out. You're worried about this. You're worried about that. You're worried about everything. You're not going to be able to relax. You're not going to be able to use your your mind to its full ability, which is uh, to bring you happiness, to bring you joy, to bring you relaxation. All right, you want to be able to be in a relaxed state. That's what's going to uh, put your heart at ease. That's what's going to make your hor- your organs and everything be at ease, and your body is going to be in harmony. Okay, when you're at peace and when you're not stressed, your body is in harmony. All right, there's universal harmonies. There's universal flows. The the earth has a frequency. The earth has a vibration. So when you're at peace, when you're um when you're thinking good thoughts, when you're not stressed, your uh rhythm is on the same rhythm as the earth. The rhythm is on the same rhythm as the universe. You're one, okay? And you're one with health. You're one with uh, wellness, all right? You're one with all the universal energies that heal you, that make you feel well, okay? When when you uh, focus on not being worried, you bring more things for you to be not stressed about, okay? When When you're not stressed, when you don't worry, you bring more relaxation to yourself, okay? You bring more peace to yourself and when you worry about stuff when you stress about stuff you're just bringing more worry and stress to you okay and you don't want to be stressing about everything okay because that means you won't be able to relax about anything okay you want to be able to relax you don't want things to have you to the point where you think the world is going to end i know we've all been there but that's draining and it'll set you back It'll uh, it'll deplete your energy for the whole day. Sometimes you may not get what you need to get done that day. That could potentially throw you off. That could potentially hold you back. It could potentially uh, ruin your routine. You've been doing something every day. Now you done stress yourself out so bad you don't even have the energy to do it. You just want to sit down and watch TV and eat some snacks. <clears throat> I get it. I've been there. 
but when you feel yourself not being able to think straight, when you feel yourself being stressed to the point where you can't let it go, you have to monitor that, okay? Because that's when it becomes unhealthy. When you're carrying around that stress, that's not good, okay? The cortisol levels go up and it turns into high blood pressure. You don't want any of that, okay? Clogs arteries, all that. You don't want none of that stuff happening to you. You don't want to be stressed to the point where it takes you to the hospital, okay? Some people get stressed to the point where their heart will just stop like that. You don't want that. You don't want any of those issues. You don't want any problems. You don't want any uh, uh, health, uh, anything not functioning right. So what you want to do is you want to monitor your mood. You want to ask yourself, how am I feeling? How does this make me feel? Okay, what can I do to relieve this stress? What can I do to make myself feel better? You want to ask yourself that, okay? You don't want to be the one that's always upset and angry and people looking at you like, oh, don't talk to him. He's always stressed out. Oh, don't talk to her. She's always stressed out. Nobody likes those people. People have love for those people, but don't nobody really like them people. Don't nobody want to come around them people. Like, oh, there goes so-and-so. Stay away from them. You don't want to be that. You want to be a kind, loving, peaceful relaxed person you don't want to be on edge about everything stress and worry all that stuff i have you on edge okay don't push me because i'm close to the edge you don't want to be close to the edge your whole entire life every day every minute every hour not not uh taking accountability for how you feel when you have to ask yourself how you're feeling when you're stressed you have to ask yourself how you're feeling like yo am i stressed out right now and listen to yourself listen to how you feel all right your body will tell you like yeah we're stressed and what then you can go meditate you can go work out do some push-ups go in the uh, bathroom and take a deep breath real quick pray to god you know um say some psalms chant a psalm you know what i'm saying psalms are wonderful for uh stress you know and, and that's another video i'm about to make a video for psalms to deal with stress that's a whole another video right after this one i'm gonna make a, a video about dealing with stress and the psalm verses that'll help with that but i'm telling you when you go relax, when you go in the corner, when you go chill yourself out, you're going to feel more relaxed and it's going to help is going to help you handle situations better for the next time where something comes to stress you out. So that way you're reprogramming your mind. Something comes to stress you out, you handle it in the right way instead of handling it in a way to where you're not relaxed, to where you're angry, to where you're worried. Now you want to punch a hole in the wall, you want to break something. You don't want to handle it like that. You want to handle it different. So next time, right, when you get worried, all right, next time when you feel like you can't relax, ask yourself how you're feeling, okay? You have to monitor your mood. What makes you feel like what? You have to be a scientist when it comes to how you feel so that way you can make sure you always feel good, all right? When I get around this type of people, I feel like this. When, when, when I can't do something right, I feel like this. You have to find little ways and little methods. Maybe I have to walk away for a minute and put this down and come back to it. Maybe I can't spend so much time around this person. Maybe I can't spend more than 15 minutes around this this person. And then after that, I know it's going, it's going to go bad. So after 15 minutes, my 15 minutes is up, I'm out. Whatever works for you, whatever you have, whatever you have to do, okay? Whether you got to separate yourself, whether you got to walk away for a few minutes and come back to it, you know, put it down. Whether you got to start over, do something new, whatever you got to do, okay? It's up to you. But whatever it is, make sure it's something that you could relax. Make sure it's something that you could relieve stress, okay? Stretching is good. I always talk about that. A good stretch will help you out. A good walk. Walking is good too, you know? Walking will help you clear your mind. You could go for a walk, go out in nature, go for a nice walk on a nice day, call up a friend, go for a walk. Hey, you trying to go for a walk, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes you just go for a walk by yourself. That's good too. Just chilling by yourself. Go out there, you know what I mean? Connect with God. Go out there, walk, listen to the birds chirp, listen to the wind, the, the breeze blow and everything. That stuff will calm you down. That way you'll be able to relax. You'll be able to think straight because it's nothing. I'm telling you, it's nothing like being stressed to the point where you can't think straight. That's when, when, when the stress is... is not allowing you to live a normal life when the things you're worried about are not allowing you to live a normal life like i said to where you can't relax to where you can't chill to where you feel like you can't pray like yo god help me out with this man oh, this is bothering me you got to monitor that because i'm over a long period of time that stuff will take you out and it'll shorten your life okay i was just reading about this the other day this stuff will short distress because I, I used to stress a lot you know sometimes i still stress and i but i get myself out of it i, I may stress but it's going like that i don't stress for long 
I get I guess over it. I guess over it quick, quickly, because the longer you hold on to it, the longer it festers and it's gonna manifest her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That fest, that stress is gonna manifest her all in your body, and you don't want that. You know, you want everything to be at peace so you could your body could function properly and you can get the most usage out of it. Okay. You want to have a good heart. You want to have good organs. All right. You want to have a, a, a good head on your shoulders. You don't want your brain fried from constant stress. Some people get headaches all the time, get migraines all the time. Stress make you go crazy, man. You don't want that, you know, like causes people cancer, causes tumors, all this stuff. Um, you, you want to let this stuff go. Stress causes negative thoughts, cause stress and cancer and all that stuff is caused by negative thinking. It's caused by worry. It's caused by fear. All those illnesses, the root of it is a thought. I'm telling y'all, the root of all every illness is a thought. So when you think good thoughts, when you're not stressed, when you're not worried, when you're able to relax, okay, relaxing is very important. Being relaxed is vital to your life, okay? It's vital to your title. You're going to want to be relaxed, all right? You're going to want to be at peace. So, even if you have to plan ahead of time, okay, what can I do to make my life peaceful? What can I do to make my life more relaxed? What can I do to make make my life so I don't have to worry? Maybe you got to sit down and plan some things out. Maybe you got to pray. Maybe you got to ask God to point you in the right direction of a stress-free existence, okay? Ask the universe for more peace. Ask the universe for more love. Ask the universe to, to bring a less stressful situation into your life, Okay? And that's what you'll get. Whatever you pray for, when you ask, you'll receive it. All right, and you you can use that for whatever you want. Especially if you need if you need it for health. You don't think God wants to want you to be healthy? That's the number one thing God wants you to want you to be is is healthy. You know, so that way you could move and do what you need to do and um and praise Him and be happy while you do it and healthy while you do it. All right. So when you are worried about everything, you don't have time to relax about anything. Worrying about everything is not going to help. Worrying about it's not going to help. Okay. Worrying about this and worrying about that. You better get at the God. Okay. Stop focusing on things you can't control and focus on the things you can control. You can't control how many hours they give you. You can't control uh, what's what's going to happen tomorrow. But what you can control is how you handle it. What you can control is making yourself, putting yourself in a position to where you could be as less stressed and worry-free as possible. So that way when things happen, when things occur, boom, you're set. You got your methods. You know what to pray. You know what to say. You know what to do to maintain a positive attitude throughout the day. Because things are going to come out of nowhere. Boom, this happened. Boom, that happened. You never know what's going to happen. But you don't stress over it, okay? You be, you keep your peace. You say, God, help me keep my peace. Don't let me stress over this situation. Stressing is bad for my health. Lord, help me, help me keep my health. Help me not be stressed. Help me stay healthy, God, throughout this situation. People trying to get you upset, Lord, don't let them do it to me. They're not going to do You know what? Don't even say, Lord, don't let them do it to me. That's them weak. That's a weak prayer. Say, God, they're not stressing me out today. <laughs> I'm a child of God. They're not stressing me out. I'm a child of God. I'm not letting this situation stress me out. <laughs> they don't they don't know what they don't know what God I serve. I have Jesus on my side. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I'm not being stressed out today. You know what I'm saying? Lord Jesus ain't stressed. Try to picture, try to picture Jesus or God stressed or angry. Right now, picture Jesus or God worrying or stressed in your mind. I guarantee you, you can't see yourself with that same God level of con- uh, of confidence. See yourself with that same God level of, of faith, okay? You can have faith like Christ. You can have faith like God, okay? God is never worried. God is never stressed. Try to picture God worried. You know you have the same mind in you that God has to not be worried. You know you have the same thoughts in you that you can think like God thinks, so you don't have to be worried. If you rewind this video, you'll go find them. You'll find the answers. So I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Smash that like button. Most definitely smash that share button. I know some people out there that need to hear this. Hit that like button. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Stay worry-free and keep your uh, relaxation mode on.